Thank you for learning Siebel with the Siebel Hub. We have a unique, comprehensive and always up-to-date collection of Siebel CRM 2021 training classes. We can deliver live online and on-site training in the highest quality with the most experienced instructors. And we also offer a unique modular Siebel CRM 20 and 21 training. Follow the links in the description or on this slide to learn more and learn Siebel with the Siebel Hub. Hello and welcome to this uh, quick summary of the highlights of the Siebel CRM 21.11 update. My name is Alexander Hansal with Black Sheep IT Consulting. I'm happy that you can join me today. So the November release of Siebel 21, the 11th release in the cycle and the last but one for Siebel 21 includes a single new feature as per the release notes. That is Web Tools now has full support for both exporting and importing the Siebel SIF archive files. And along with that, along with bug fixes, there were various significant updates to bookshelf guides, including EIM, UCM, and Siebel tools. So let's take a moment to look at the web tools enhancements that come with 21.11. You will recognize the new version and any future version by the existence of a new menu in web tools. The menu is labeled archive and this menu allows us to add a selection of records to the archive and also to start the import wizard and export the entire workspace to archive. There is a fourth option visible in the menu which is called objects to archive and if you click that a panel opens a list applet of sorts where you see all the objects currently selected for exporting or for modifying the list, like the clearing the list or deleting individual objects before you export them. So SIF files export is not entirely new in web tools, but it's greatly enhanced. The import capability for SIF files is new in WebTools 21.11 and higher. So there is a veritable wizard available, which is built on the trusty task UI architecture. So you get a new task essentially inserted into your database and activated by the post installation database update. And the wizard implements the familiar Siebel tools experience. So you are prompted to select a SIF file, which is then consumed. And you see the objects in the SIF file in the first panel. You have the conflict resolution. Uh, clicking next shows you the object differences and allows you to select the uh, detailed action for the object difference, such as take what's in the file, keep what's in the repository or merge. And then there is a confirmation page and a summary page. And after that, given you have a editable workspace open, the import is finished. So great news for web tools practitioners as web tools gets closer towards the goal of 100% parity with Siebel tools. Also quite noteworthy are the updates to bookshelf in the 21.11 release, uh, especially the Using Siebel Tools Guide, which has the entire workspaces chapter mostly rewritten to clarify how to use integration and developer workspaces and what roles they play in modern day CICD driven projects. The EIM guide has some update and clarified information for the LOV migration, which is very valuable indeed, and the UCM guide Universal Customer Master um, has a lot of updates and a lot of obsolete information that has accumulated from previous years has been removed to make the information more clear. So a good time if you haven't done in a while to revisit the bookshelf and make sure you pick the 21.11 release. 
As always, we quickly revisit the steps to get to this latest Siebel release. So if you are on an update path, that is you are on 17.0 or higher already, uh, then there is an update situation and we can quickly review the development environment process. So if uh, you start with updating your development environment by taking a complete backup of both the database and the environment that is the machines or machine images. And once you are confident that the backup can be safely restored anytime, you start the modular deployment engine and point to the home directories, uh, starting with your SES, uh, Siebel server installation probably, which includes as always the post installation database update. And if that runs, automatically and successfully you're good and if it if you have to run it manually you have to complete that step and the green path shown in this diagram is the fast track so if you have no repository upgrade to run or no configuration instructions to follow so no modification at all to any workspaces in your repository you're good and done however you could review the uh, release notes and find out that you have to run the manual non-mandatory repository upgrade which will inject a integration workspace into your repository you must then verify test and deliver that and you might also have some configuration instructions to follow to make more changes to let's say workflows etc and then last but least you might have some administrative changes before you, such as if you jump from a version prior to 20.11, uh, the enabling the debug server to support the um, web tools script debugger and web tools workflow simulator, which rely on that debug server, which is just one example really of administrative changes that might be on your to do list. For test or production or short RR, runtime repository environments, the update process is much simpler. Again, you have to take a complete backup, make sure that it is restorable before you run the modular deployment engine, point to your first Siebel server, which will run the post install database update, or you run it manually, so that has to complete successfully. and. If you have any repository changes included in the update, you need to fire up the migration application after your environment is completely updated, of course, and migrate those repository and possibly seed changes, seed data changes from your development environment to the target test or production environment, like you would migrate any development changes. And also on test or production environments, you could have any number of administrative changes depending on your environment and depending on the version you are coming from. If you are on a version prior to IP17, then you have to do an upgrade. And if you look at the lower portion of this diagram, you see all the upgrade paths available for customers spanning the versions really from very old versions like 7.5.3 um, to IP16, which was the last before IP17. And depending on the version you're coming from, you might or might not have to migrate to OpenUI and you might uh, run the full upgrade or a two-step upgrade or the simpler, faster incremental repository merge. An upgrade still goes to the very latest version without any intermediate version stop stopover. So you upgrade right to 21.11 and then your current. If time goes by, and it will, you will update later on from 21.11 to any future update and you will have a much simpler update path. So that's it for today and thank you for watching this presentation on the Siebel CRM 21.11 update. Take care and bye-bye.